Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I'm glad you could join me here today. I have a really fun project to share and a very basic tutorial that a lot of you have been asking me for for forever. So we're going to do that today. This is made, this is a really fun card folio made with Authentique's new Sea Maiden collection. Let me just bring this in so you can see. This is, if you love the beach like I love the beach, this is your paper. Look at this. All these gorgeous shades of aquamarine. Here's the, um, this is the collection kit which includes these really fun cardstock components and these beautiful stickers. And then just a quick flip through to look at the patterns. I'm talking serious gorgeousness here. Um, I just love everything about the beach and this collection captures everything. Loads of mermaids beach glass, sand, really fun border strips, um, fish scales, underwater coral and shells, more mermaids, a really fun text background with this retro style mermaid, bubbles, and how gorgeous is this wood grain, love love, and then these are the images, just fantastic, and pearls on the back side. So if you love the beach, this is your collection. I used it to make this 5x7 card folio with a quarter inch spine and we'll just take a quick look at the front. This is from that wonderful collage page. I just cut this out, added a graphic 45 die cut um, frame. This is from the graphic 45 um, clock and uh, square tag die and a seashell that I picked up on the beach these pretty buttons, a feather that I also picked up at the beach. We spent the weekend at the beach and it decided to be a monsoon. So I was really glad that I had taken this collection along with me. We got a couple of walks in, but a lot of time indoors playing with paper. So I still felt like I was at the beach. Then I just cut this from the that wonderful collage page. Plus you cut the little fish, the little coral pieces, starfish. These are actual shells. These pretty teal flowers, ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon, and look at this wonderful wood grain. And I've double matted. I distressed all the edges. The base is white, and then I used craft card stock because I really like the way that looks. So when we open this up, here on the top, I've created a really fun accordion um, style pullout page. And this has a little wee pocket on the front with a little tiny place to add a gift card or a message, little mementos, journaling, more of that beautiful collage paper. And then this has a gatefold opening, so it pulls out like this. So as you can see, tons of room for photos. Each of these little squares is three by four. You just put your photos in here, and then there are a few bigger ones. This is more like, um, hold on. This is three and three quarters, three and three quarters. And this is a flip page. So here you've got room for an actual four by four photo. And then over here is a little pocket with little tags that I made using some of the stickers from the collection. I added some little photo mounts in here, dressed them up with little stickers. And of course you can, I always leave the edge open so you can tuck your photos back behind. So this would be a great way to um, chronicle all the memories from your family beach trip and then these just slip back in the pocket and the pocket I just made by cutting this also off the collage page and gluing on three sides and got an instant pocket this is one of the great three by four cut apart cards and a really cute little mermaid and this all just folds up into itself and is held shut with this ribbon closure. So um, let's tie this back. There we go. Then on the bottom we've got a little pocket. This is one of the stickers that I've just matted on white cardstock. And in the pocket I created this little folio just using up scraps. It's got this little um, burlap string closure. I just fussy cut around the 3x4 image, added some little flowers, and then inside 
if life starts getting you down, just remember to come up for air. And then a little tag that I just tucked in there. And of course you could put in a gift card, you could put in a little photo, you could put in a little tea bag, whatever you wanted to add to that pocket. So that sits in here. And that is, oh, and here's the branding strip. I like this saying to unpathed waters and undreamed shores, and I just tore the edges and glued that down here. So everything on here, the edges are really distressed, lots of dimension. If I had it to do over again, I think I would do a half inch spine here. So I'll show you how to do that in the tutorial. We're gonna build the basic base. Let me go grab my stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, so first things first, this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of whipped cream card stock. I get this from my favorite things. I just really like the weight and I like the finish. But you could also use um, artisan card stock um, from Authentique. This is just, this fit in my bag for the beach. So it's what I took. And when I make um, one of these five by seven card folios, this is always how I start. So you're just going to cut this to measure. I'm gonna go five and a quarter and then do another one five and a quarter and you want to line these up carefully because you want those to match and bring in my scoring pal my score pal so you see how you have an end here you're just going to take some score tape this is half inch score tape because I think we're going to make a half inch spine on this one and you're just going to run this along the very very end. Now sometimes I, I did purchase larger like 18 by 20 card stock and sometimes I use that but um, this is the basic way that I make almost all of my 5 by 7 cards. And once you get the hang of it it's just super easy. So then you're gonna burnish this down. You always have to burnish score tape to make sure it's really stuck. Remove that liner tape, and you're just going to use this edge of your score tape as your guide. And just join those two pieces together. And you can see that's a nice straight join. So burnish that down. Then place this on your scoring tool. And because I went five and a quarter with the width, I'm gonna go seven and a quarter with the length and then I'm going to go over a half an inch to seven and three quarters and this becomes our spine just like that and then you're just going to fold and burnish and that is how you create a five by seven card now if you wanted a quarter inch spine you would just score this line at a quarter inch or if you didn't want any you could just do it flat for a flat card but that's basically how I do it um, then you're just going to need to make sure this is straight and I'm just going to score a little line here and I'm going to use this as a little flap that I'm going to attach my pocket to. Alright, so let me set this aside and we'll just talk about this for a minute. I always start my cards on the inside first and the reason for that is um, you do have these little lines here but you won't even notice that once you cover this with paper but the reason I do the inside first is that that preserves the covers the covers of my cards tend to be rather dimensional and I like to be able to work on this flat surface so if you were do when you are doing this you're going to line this with your designer paper and you're also going to line up here with your designer paper we're not going to do that because I just want to show you how to build the different mechanisms. And um, we'll start with the pocket. So let me bring in, I would use, typically I would use designer paper here. Um, but just for the purpose of showing you how I do this, we're just going to use regular cardstock. So here's some craft cardstock. And. I'm just going to trim this to measure. I usually go three and a half inches for pockets. So three and a half. 
and then the width of our card is five and a quarter. So you want to go an inch wider than the width of your card. If your card is four and a quarter, you're going to go five and a quarter. Since we're five and a quarter, we're going to go six and a quarter and just cut it right there. Bring in your scoring tool, lay it on the short side, make sure you can see here, half inch, rotate it, half inch, half inch, and leave this top side alone. And then use your bone folder and just score along those lines. And come in with a scissor and you're just going to bevel these corners so they'll fit together nice and neat. Move some of this stuff out of the way. And then this is just going to attach I'm actually going to cut this flap off because it's not really long enough to do anything with. A lot of times if I do, um, if I don't have the um, wider spine, you can actually turn that into a pocket, but that's not going to be helpful. So I'm just going to get rid of it. So you're just going to fold these in. You're going to add glue. And it's going to look like this. Do you see that? And then I'm not going to glue this because I haven't added my designer paper yet and I don't want to waste this base. But this is going to glue right down at the bottom. And you can add a thumb hole. You can use a circle punch. You can cut it with a circle die, whatever. And then cover this. <clears throat> like I said, I would use designer paper usually. But because I didn't, I'll just cover this with designer paper and leave a little border around the edge and then this becomes your pocket down here. So that's basically how to make a pocket. You can also, if you want to, slip it like that and go around the edges. But this is just a basic pocket. And I'll just show you again. You fold this bottom flap up and then your beveled sides in and you add your glue and then you just adhere it to your base. Pretty simple. Then, for this accordion mechanism, this is a little more complicated. So, I'm going to bring in a whole piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. And we want to trim this. This is 8.5, so half of 8.5 is 4 and a quarter. Make sure you're lined up and then just trim that. So now you've got these two pieces that are four and a quarter by eight and a half. And again, we're just gonna join these. And to do this, you can use score tape, but I don't want a big wide margin here. I'm just gonna put a little bead of my favorite adhesive down this side. Then I'm gonna bring this piece here and join it. And I don't know, this paper must not be exactly eight and a half because I had that in the right place on my scoring tool. So it must be more, the width must be, that's tricky. Yeah, the width is a little bit bigger than eight and a half. I should have double checked that with a ruler. It's not a true eight and a half by 11. So that's going to give us this little bump. But just make sure everything is straight. That's the important thing. And what I will do is once I've got this folded, I'll just trim that off on my trimmer. So you've got this great big long piece of paper. What you need to do at this point is find the center of your paper. So to do that, I'm just going to fold
All right, and where that little mark is, that's the center of our paper. So I'm just going to mark that with my pencil. Then I'm going to use my centering ruler, and I'm going to put the zero right at that mark. And I want this middle panel to be um, four and a half inches wide. So I'm going to go over one inch, I'm going to go over two inches, and I'm going to go over a quarter and make a mark. And then I'm going to go to the left one inch, two inch, and a quarter, and make a mark. And that is going to give us a center panel that is, let me turn the ruler the right way, four and a half inches in width. So then you take this piece, and you're going to place it on your scoring tool. And where you've made those little marks, you're going to score. And then this is going to fold in on each side. And like I said, I'll come back and trim this. That was tricky that that paper was not a true eight and a half inches wide. This was Recollections paper that I got at Michael's super cheap, so we'll forgive them. It was on sale. 50 sheets were like $2, so I'll forgive them for that. You can do this with 12 by 12 paper. Also, you just want to choose, you know, you'll just cut the strips the width you want them to be. So now that you've got these, what I call like baselines, you've got your center set, I know that I want each little panel to be three and a quarter inches wide. So I've got this tucked right up into my corner, and I'm going to score at three and a quarter, and I'm going to score at six and a half because three and a quarter and three and a quarter, six and a half. And then I've got this lovely little flap. We're gonna leave that right where it is. Then we're gonna turn this and we're gonna do the same thing from the other side. And we're going to go, there's one, two, three and a quarter, so seven and a quarter. And then, whoops, did I do that right? Where's my fold? Sorry, I had my fold in the wrong place. Three and a quarter, six and a half, and again, you've got this little flap. So ignore this, I'll fix that. We're going to accordion fold this, just like that. And then these pieces tuck into one another and you're left with this lovely little gate fold on the front. Can you see that? So here's your two little flaps that were on either end. These fold out, and then these fold into one another. And then you can go in there and you can build your pockets, you can do all of that fun stuff. Um, cover this with all of your designer paper. And look, you've got the inside, you've also got the outside. To make the larger panels, I just added, I, I cut a um, four and a quarter inch piece of cardstock, and I just glued half of it to this right hand gate. And then that gave me that lovely opening that we had here. I'll show you. See, I just glued to the right-hand side of the gate, and I used this large four and a quarter inch piece of paper, and then I backed it with another four and a quarter inch piece of paper, and that gave me this large cover. And I just took a little piece of paper to add this pocket. Very, very simple. So that's what you're going to do. So when you've got it all decorated, um, you're going to run score tape along the back, and I did mine low because of the pocket. And then you just wrap your ribbon around and tie your bow. And then once it's all done, you adhere it onto the top of your card. So that's the basics of this folio. I hope I have shared some tips and tricks that you can use in your own crafty adventures. 
Now you know how to build a five by seven card base from eight and a half by 11 inch paper. You know how to add a pocket and you know how to build this little accordion mechanism. So you can have all kinds of fun building these interactive card folios with Authentique C. Maiden. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thank you so much, and I'm going to go get my crafts.